Hello and welcome. Today I'm taking you on a hike from Castle Lake to Hart Lake, close to the, the city of Manchester. And this is uh, about a, a one mile hike here with a view on Castle Lake and pretty much there on top of that uh, rock formation that's where we're going to. But first, uh, we'll take a look at the Castle Lake itself. This is a popular destination in the hot summer uh, summer months to get some cooling and uh, go for a swim. In the winter time, this is also really nice destination but then it's all frozen and uh, snowed in but you can still uh, get here in the winter but for now we're looking at that uh, the rock there and where we're going to go up and as I said this is uh, going to be about a, a one mile hike with an elevation gain of some 600 feet so it's considered a, a moderate moderately difficult hike um, it, it used to be a bit more challenging but uh, recently i think last year they they changed the trail and uh, they the, the original trail that was pretty much a direct climb uh, up up the cliff or up the rock that has been uh, um, how do you call it it's no longer accessible because they want to restore the meadows and so that's a good thing and instead of that they made a more a zigzag trail going up so it's a uh, easier going now than it used to be and also before the trail wasn't really marked that well so you really had to find your your own way and now it's uh, it's pretty clearly marked and on this day there were several people groups of people that I passed on the way but I've edited them out in this video. So typically this walk up is some 45 minutes and I condensed it down to 25 just still to give you an impression of the surroundings but uh, make it a little faster. I was really surprised this time because of the lush vegetation all the previous years that I've been here it must have been later in the season because there was not much greenery but now everything looked green many wildflowers so this is uh, the end of July 2022 so many wildflowers as you can see left and right side of the trail so that's quite unusual we had a very long and cold uh, spring this year and wet so that may have contributed to the abundance of green and flowers this year so that was a really nice surprise to see Anyway, we're making, I'm making on my way up the trail now and you can see from now looking at the lake that this trail is going gradually up. So we're climbing up. And this first uh, about half, half of the trail, we're just going alongside the lake and uh, well, we're taking a look at the wildflowers so 
but this first half is just going alongside the, the trail and from time to time you can look to the right and see how it goes disappears deeper and deeper below But anyway, like I said, this is an easy trail to walk. So the only difficulty is the elevation gain. And especially in the, the later part, and like once you've gone, got, gotten to Heart Lake, you can continue the trail, which I do in a separate video. I'll show you the continuation of the trail up a cliff and then you can look back down on Castle Lake here, this lake that we just left. But that is a very steep climb. But again, so that's in a separate video. In this video we'll just have Heart Lake as our destination. Also this, this early part of the trail, I, I had a sense that it had been modified because in my memory from, from some two years ago, there was a very steep part here and that I didn't see anymore. So all the while on the top right, that's the destination that we're going to. So you have an idea how much we still have to climb.
Hey, good morning. So below, below there is the lake from which we started. Now we're getting close to the, the second part of the hike. So we're no longer uh, following the, the edge of the lake. And we're now going to climb more straight up. Well, not actually straight, it's still at a zigzag path, but uh, we're going to climb up the rock now. So that's our general destination there at the top. So all the way that you're walking here, you can keep that in mind, that uh, you get a, an idea of how far you still have to go. And like I said, here we are about halfway. And the trail is typically pretty well marked from time to time. It gets a little more difficult to see, but uh, you typically pick up uh, quick enough again. But like I said, this is a very different trail from what it used to be up until some two years ago. Uh, this is a much more leisurely trail now, longer of course, because it's now meandering up the hill instead of going straight up over the rocks. I must say, I like the original trail, that was much more an, uh, an adventure, but uh, this is more accessible. And from time to time you will see little signs on the side of the trail that uh, it is blocked, like the little side trails are blocked off to allow the vegetation to restore. So that's a good thing, because it's a, this is a beautiful area. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but we are here at an elevation of some 6,000 feet. I think when we get to Heart Lake, that is some 6,500 feet above sea level. So while we are climbing here, um, you have lost view of the castle lake where we came from. But at the very end, uh, when you get to Hart Lake, there are some places where you can look down and look down on Castle Lake and in the distance look at uh, Mount Shasta. 
Let's see, even from here. Now what you see there in the distance, the two bumps, that is uh, Black Butte. Black Butte is uh, very close to the city of Mount Shasta. And then hidden behind this hill here on the right, there is where Mount Shasta is. But we cannot see it yet. But you will see it later, um, higher up. And here's a, a fork in the trail. On the to the left, you can go to Little Castle Lake, and then continuing to the right is Hart Lake. As far as I know, the times that I've been to Little Castle Lake, it has always been a dried, dried up lake bed. So. Um, People have asked me also on this, um, when I was walking here, they couldn't find a little castle lake, and so I, I told them, like, I suspect it's dried out uh, already, even though it's still early in the season. But I've never seen water there. Anyway, we are continuing to Hard Lake. And from this uh, the, the camera point of view, it may look like I am looking down uh, at the trail, but it's, that's not the case. Uh, I have my mobile phone as the camera and it's mounted on a gimbal. And the gimbal is uh, such that it is always horizontal. So it's in a follow pan mode. So it's always looking straight ahead, but since we are climbing, it's, uh, it feels like it's looking down. In, in many cases. See like here? Looking straight ahead, but from a video point of view, it may seem like it's looking down. So now we see Mount Shasta. They're right in the middle, of a little right of the middle, and then now in the middle, that's Black Butte. The two bumps. Mount Shasta has also actually two volcanoes, Mount Shasta and Mount Shastina. Now here, right there in the middle, there's a very interesting tree. You see the, the the old dead tree. It looks to me. I had a sense of like dragon energy, a guardian dragon of this area. And uh, yeah, really interesting shape. And at the end of the video, I have a 
little bonus where I go back to this dragon tree and show it in more detail or closer up I should say and then here finally got to our destination Heart Lake it's called Heart Lake because it's the the shape of a heart with on this side that would be the, the top of the heart and then to, to the left you would be looking at the, the bottom point of the heart and then here it has two very distinct on this side it has very two very distinct lobes From this view, it's probably the easiest to see. Although it's much better to see the heart shape if you uh, walk around or walk further, follow the trail further, and then from the other side, uh, follow the trail still a little further, and then look back at the lake, then you will truly see the heart shape. So you can see this lake is uh, pretty secluded, surrounded by higher cliffs here. And on the left there, uh, there are trails going up the, the cliff in the distance and then going towards the left you will you can go to all the way to Castle Crags which is also a very recognizable landmark in this area. If you come from the Bay Area and, and drive on the I-5 to Mount Shasta, before you get to Mount Shasta you will see Castle Crags on the, on the left side. So most people who know Manchester probably will know Castle Crags as well. But anyway, as I said, uh, there is a second video and in that video I continue the trail here around the lake, this hard lake up the cliff in the shorter distance and then we will go all the way up to the edge of the cliff and we'll look back down on the castle lake. Well here we have Manchester in the distance So then here is the little bonus piece, the dragon tree. So I hope you enjoyed this video and blessings to you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.